about a year ago in this hall, and I'm very indebted to him. We rehearsed yesterday, as many of you know, at Billings in the morning and at Bradford's, and I want to thank them also for their rehearsal space. It was a, really a wonderful day. I want to thank everyone who has worked so hard at the PAC today. I would like to thank Bill Sell of The Last Word, who has supplied these beautiful programs. Gordon Hinckley, who I'm going to introduce shortly, I want to thank him now. He's going to be our MC today. Richard Thomas has done a lot of the publicity, along with our committee members in our own organization. I want to thank, of course, all of the students and the parents, but I'm going to do that again later, and all of the teachers in our wonderful organization, the Wisconsin Music Teachers Association, Greater Milwaukee Chapter. I have some bad news about the cameras, folks. No pictures, no flash, no video. It's a PAC policy, and it's very distracting for performers when cameras are flashed. So please, I appreciate it. We have three other guests here today who I would like to introduce, special guests. One of them is a student, Emily Schmitz. She designed the logo for our program, picture is on your, your program on the cover and also is on all of our t-shirts and sweatshirts that we purchased. Emily, could you stand up? Also, we have two arrangers with us. Sister Marion Verhalen arranged the Rainbow Connection. She's a composer, very well known nationally, and she's a Milwaukee resident, and she is here today with us, Sister Verhalen. And Carol Closey arranged my favorite things. Carol Closey is a member of the Wisconsin Music Teachers Association, a composer, and obviously an arranger. Carol Closey. left anybody out. This is a great day for us. I would now like to introduce our MC, Gordon Hinckley. I think everybody knows Gordon Hinckley. So without further ado, here he is. Well, greetings, everybody. I work at WTMJ. I've been there a few years. I came in 1950. 
That's before some of you were born. But I like what I'm doing. And I'm very, very pleased to be here. I'm sort of a piano player myself, and maybe that's one reason they thought, well, maybe I'd kind of fit into this setting here today. I was born in Port Edwards, Wisconsin. Anybody know where that is? Central Wisconsin? 21 miles from Pittsville? <laughs> now you know, don't you? Well, I took piano lessons many years ago there, and this is for the young people who are here today. I took piano lessons from Mrs. Dixon, and my lessons were 50 cents a piece. I'm afraid I didn't learn too much, you know. And I didn't stay with it. Like, how many of you here today, I'm, I'm sure if we asked that question, how many of you stayed with it, or how many of you had wished that you had stayed with piano lessons, and you'd play a lot better today? But these young people here today are doing very, very well, and we're going to be amazed at the music that comes out of here. People are asking me often, Hinkley, when are you going to retire? You know, it's about that time, isn't it? I say, well, yeah, I guess so. I'm, I'm having a good time, though, at what I do on a daily basis. So one of these days I might. They, they tell me, you can tell when it's time to retire, when you bend over to tie your shoes, and you while you're down there, you look around to see what else you can do. Then you can tell that it's time to retire. That hasn't happened to me yet, but it will one of these days, I'm sure. So I'm very pleased to be here today, and uh, we'll get on with the show. I'd like to introduce, first of all, Brenda Dillon, who is here. She's the executive director of the National Piano Foundation. She's made the trip here from Dallas today just to be with you. And would you welcome Brenda Dillon right here. distinct honor for me to be present with you, but before I say the things that I came to say, I would like to introduce to you a very important, famous person living in Milwaukee, uh, Mr. Jim Norton, who is president of Music Teachers National Association. Would you please welcome Jim Norton? Hello. I just want to welcome all of you. Uh, on behalf of Music Teachers National Association, the Greater Milwaukee Chapter is the local association affiliated with Wisconsin Music Teachers Association, which of course is our state affiliate. MTNA is part of the whole nation then, as far, uh, uh, in all the states. Just one other thing I might mention to you is with the passage of Goals 2000 this spring by your Congress in Washington, music is no longer a frill. Music is a core subject. And so therefore, what you're doing here is very, very important. What you're going to hear will be delightful. And we thank you for coming. The reason that I was asked to be with you today and talk a little bit about something called the Spells Program is because your Milwaukee piano retailers have united and are now working together in the Spells Program. SPELLS, S-P-E-L-L-S, stands for the study of piano enhances learning and life success. And really, that's a strong belief that the National Piano Foundation and its manufacturers have. And in fact, in 1991, we decided to, to do a survey of Americans <laughs> and find out some of their beliefs about playing the piano. One fact we learned is that 46 percent of Americans name playing the piano as their most desired instrument to play. That's their first choice they want to play. Then we also learned that 53 percent of Americans had pianos in their homes when they were growing up, but only 20 percent of Americans have pianos in their homes at the time of the poll in 1991. And it made us realize that we have a very powerful story to tell about playing the piano that perhaps we have not been telling very effectively. As you know, the computer industry is very effective at telling their story. Their story being that to have computer literacy for our children is a must. Well, those of us who have that strong support and feeling for the arts feel that having 
the arts, and active music making in their lives are also a strong must. So the purpose of the Spells program is to unite retailers, piano teachers, piano technicians, to reach out to their communities and tell that very powerful story. For those of you in the audience today who are parents and who have at some time probably heard that story, or I don't think you would be here today. And the story being very simply is that there are benefits of piano instruction that go far beyond what you will hear on the stage today. Naturally, you'll hear something wonderful on the stage today. And yet, there are very hidden benefits that sometimes take years to see. Children in piano instruction learn certainly some things about seeing patterns. They become their abstract thinkers as a result of piano instruction. They develop a self-confidence. Their self-image is enhanced in some very powerful ways. And it's lifelong. There is a yearning in human beings to make music. And as Gordon said earlier, all of us, and I, he didn't say this part, but I'll say it, I would love to have a quarter for every human being who has walked up to me and said, I am so sorry I can't play piano, and I'm even sorrier that my mother let me quit. There's a bad rap out on mothers, by the way. So I want to applaud each of you, the students, for doing what you're doing, and I hope that you're having the fun of it as well as the magic of it. I'd like to applaud the teachers. Without their nurturing and caring, these kinds of things don't happen. And then I would like to applaud the parents because hopefully that magic story that we have to tell about these benefits will be perpetuated through each of you. Thank you, by the way, for allowing us to be here. And one other person that I would like to introduce to you now is Mr. Ron Rapp, who is president of Piano Manufacturers Association International and also president of the National Piano Foundation. Would you please welcome Mr. Ron Rapp. Join uh, with Brenda making the comments of certainly saluting those efforts of the parents and the teachers, not only in the audience, but throughout uh, Milwaukee and certainly throughout the country. And one of the things that we're doing as uh, an association of piano suppliers is working more, as Brenda's pointed out in the last several years, to promote the benefits of active piano study. That's also happening, of course, with piano retailers as well. Brenda talked about that program coming together, and I have to tell you that that's a it's not a natural process. It is not natural for competitors to come together, to work together, to actively promote something on any kind of product or any kind of benefit. And yet, uh, I'm pleased to report that that is happening. It's happening very powerfully in Milwaukee. And I think perhaps some of the reasons are, again, not being natural is the fact that that the story of music and the power of music reaches beyond that of uh, just sheer competition. And fortunately, so many of the people in our business are musicians themselves. Uh, they start off at young ages playing. They know what music can do for them and has done for them throughout their lives. What's very unique about Milwaukee, and one of the reasons that I'm here, is certainly not only to enjoy this program, but is to recognize the piano retailers in this city, they have stepped out and done something more boldly than any group of retailers in the United States. And they are, are, should be commended for that. They have developed what's called a code of ethics. Uh, I don't know of any other market in this country, and for that matter, in the world, where retailers have gotten together and jointly created a code of ethics with the primary purpose being to make the purchase of a piano as pleasant, or hopefully nearly as pleasant, as it is getting to learn to play it, to study it, and to enjoy the wonderful sounds that a piano can make and the music that it can deliver. This code of ethics is something that has been established. Uh, all the retailers have joined together in writing it. They've had meetings with all their salespeople to get people to subscribe to that code of ethics as well. Uh, it's a, uh, it sets very high standards, standards which, uh, frankly, I think probably are very hard to live up to. But the reality is they have made a difference in Milwaukee already. Uh, many tell me that it, the purchase decision is easier in Milwaukee and more pleasant than what it used to be, and I'm confident that we'll get 
easier yet. So this is a trend that we hope is uh, seen throughout the country. And right now, to, to recognize their achievement uh, in what they're doing with spells and promoting the basic use benefits of pianos, as well as the code of ethics, we'd like to introduce to you the Milwaukee retailers. Brenda, if you'll join me back on stage, we have a special award we'd like to present them with as well. And first of all, from Billings, Piano and Organs, Greg Billings. And from Dwayne Michelle. Bob Kames and Sons, Wonderful World of Music, Bob Kames. And from Nestle's Pianos and Organs, Tom Keen. Roger White. Also, Ellen McDonald cannot be with us today as uh, she has some other commitments, uh, other recitals going on, if you can imagine. Uh, <clears throat> but that's with Heartland Music Center, so we send our best regards to Ellen as well. So we have an award. Good luck with the program. Parents, teachers, thank you for your wonderful support of music and what you're doing for the lives of the young people on stage and in the audience here as well. Again, thank you very much. Conductor. He's director of bands at Butler Middle School in Waukesha. He's on the faculty at Carroll College. He teaches saxophone. He's a wonderful conductor. He conducts the Waukesha Area Jazz Ensemble. And at the other end of the musical spectrum, he conducts Our Ladies Minstrels, a professional early music ensemble. Please welcome Mark Halgert.
lessons for some of them about a year, a year or two, I understand, Mark. Is that about right? And uh, we're putting it all together here. We had rehearsals yesterday and now performing here in this wonderful, wonderful facility. We want to say that the parents of these uh, children and grandparents for that matter, anybody else who would like to come on the stage after the performance and have some pictures taken with these young people at the piano, that would be fine. And uh, Mark, you'll hang around, hopefully too? I would be delighted. Good. Uh, I would just mention that I do not carry special liability insurance. If someone takes my picture, I cannot be held responsible I for what might happen to your camera. I understand, I understand. So that, that, uh, there's the invitation to come forward at, at the end of the concert and have some pictures taken up on stage. Sure. Now, let's continue. Thank you. 
it is really quite a remarkable thing for these young musicians to be coming out on the stage. Um, I'm sure that probably a few of them, maybe most of them, have never been inside of this hall before to hear a Milwaukee's best team, Milwaukee Symphony Orchestra. I can only say that I have never been in this hall looking this way before. And I got here this morning, and I thought, oh, dear Lord, be kind to me today. I walked in, the, the, uh, the gentleman opened up Maestro McCall's dressing room for me. I thought, oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Let's make music. How old is the PAC now? Is it 20 years old? I'm afraid I really have no idea. Well, you know how old this place is? Must be about 20 years old. I remember uh, the initial concert here, and I was involved in it. I was standing up here, and as you were, you know, uh, thinking about it and, uh, and uh, thrilled with the chance to take part in something here. And I remember that, as everybody does, that this is Eline Hall. So it's named after the famous brewing family here in town, Eline Hall. And I said on that occasion, I remember, I said, and we're celebrating tonight, and there's a six-pack of Schlitz under everybody's chair here. <laughs> Whoops. Nobody, nobody believed me, you know. <laughs> what was playing? What was the program? <laughs> I, you know, I don't so remember too much, but it was a variety of things. We had a lot of different kinds of music. On sort that of occasion. an inaugural send-off. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Oh, what a wonderful experience. This is just as good as that night, as I remember, too. And I'll bet the musicians are a lot closer to the ground today.
ladies and gentlemen, we are processing a tremendous amount of music today. Um, I cannot salute with great enough fervor the efforts and the dedication of the private piano teachers that are making this event possible. <coughs> the students are coming in impeccably prepared with the ability to play what is often very complex rhythmic structures, harmonic forms, and just have a total picture of what the piece is all about. What we are doing now is presenting a product. I think my own personal educational philosophy is that the process is even more important than the product. The act of learning is so even more important than the actual concert when we all dress funny. And I would also commend, ladies and gentlemen, those of you who are parents of the children who are appearing today because you are providing your child with a wonderful, wonderful experience. Not just today, but every time they go into that private lesson with that superbly qualified teacher, the process of learning. And yes, it will bring families together. Has that been your experience also? What a wonderful and powerful driving force in the home. inside the programs too that will allow you to do that and I can understand why you would like a video of this whole performance and especially if you have children who are participating in this concert today. I was especially taken, Mark, with the, stay right there, that's all right, uh, with the piano uh, dealers who were backstage before and have cooperated to bring these pianos out here today and uh, you know what? They all actually speak to one another. <laughs> really? They, they all get along. Well, how about that? They're all doing the same thing, right? They're all on the same mission. That's right. That's right. That's good. And they're there to be commended for that, too. And they're all nice people, too. You bet. I, turns out I know every one of them, too. I've known them through the years, and uh, so we're good friends on top of it. Okay.
as you can well imagine, there's a little uh, coordinating going on backstage here too with this many students, this many performers, and it seems to be working very, very well. Not a hitch. Have we missed anybody so far out here? I don't think so. Don't forget. Nobody at this piano over here. I'm worried. But there's no way. Well, the two of us. Yeah, we can do it. <laughs> there, there is no way because, I mean, I, there's a lot of people who ask me if I would play a piano today. There's just no way that I would ever, you know, consent to play a song on the piano this afternoon. I mean, there's just no, no way. <laughs> Unless you ask me, of course, then that'd be good. The dealers are down here applauding. And I played the clarinet, the saxophone, and yeah, I, know, I, know, I know, I know. Probably no way that you would ever, yeah. Hey, if I were to ask you. Well, <laughs> I'll deliberate on the matter. <laughs> seriously thinking about applying for the position of Milwaukee Symphony Music Director? No, I didn't. Yeah. And, uh, and the personnel manager and artistic coordinator said, yeah, we heard you uh, play the saxophone, the clarinet, and the... <laughs> so I guess it's not going to happen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what did you think of when you heard that last song, folks? 
What did you think? No, no, I mean it was nice. I don't, I'm not looking for your applause for the, for the performers, but what did you think of? Your Ger Kermit the Frog, of course you did. Of course you did. I don't wonder, so did I. <laughs> All right. More music coming up.
not having been born until 1971. <laughs> well, at least at the turn of the decade in kindergarten, we didn't do a lot of dancing. Um, but I did tell the children that if we play this as beautifully today as we did yesterday in rehearsal, that we are going to be responsible for dozens, if not hundreds of people, grown-ups, falling in love all over again. And we're going to be to blame.
got to thank the Milwaukee chapter of the Piano Technicians Guild, too, for the work that they've done here. Most without saying, these are beautiful instruments here. A variety of brand names, and they're all very familiar to you, and all top-notch, top of the line. But the technicians to be here and tune all these pianos, and it occurs to me that they should all be tuned together, too. This piano has to sound exactly like that one over there. Huh? Yeah. So that, as they say, goes without saying, but it has been accomplished very nicely, and we've got a beautiful sound here today in this hall.
music, huh? It sounds like Andrew Lloyd Webber music to me. Sort of, you know, 1990s kind of music. This doesn't go back to the 30s, I don't think. That's very pretty.
folks, I tell you, you, your kids are in good hands here. That's terrific. Uh, we want to thank again uh, Ned Sos and Bob Kames and Bradford for supplying these beautiful instruments up on the stage here. And as we say, check with these dealers for some special deals from promotional prices on these through the 30th of the month, as I understand it, the 30th of uh, November. Ladies and gentlemen, how about another round of applause for all of the fine students who performed this afternoon. This is, uh, this is, I believe, the third Monster concert that I've been privileged to be a part of, and it is always a genuine joy, and I can't remember any being more fun than this, especially in this wonderful hall. And it is, Gordon, it's been a number of years since we worked together, but as always, it is a consummate joy. Mr. Gordon Hinckley, please. And Mark over here, too. Now, these are more piano teachers. Is this a better group than the other one, you suppose, or what? Uh, you saved the best for the last, or what, what, what? I, uh, I think... Don't get yourself into trouble now. Okay. Okay. I think that I play the clarinet, <laughs> the saxophone, and the flute. <laughs>
How about another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for these wonderful teachers this afternoon.
excellent job. Uh, I want to say uh, a couple of words about uh, Chuck Harris, who contacted me uh, for the MC duties today, and he isn't able to be here, so he, the flu hit him, so he isn't going to be here, unfortunately. So we want to, he, he's done a lot of work on this, I know. And so has Susan Sonneborn. Would you come forward again, Susan, because uh, she's got one more job to do here. She's one of those good piano teachers here. Who are going to bring out those? Oh, bring the other piano teachers out too? All right, these are members of the organization now. Final, final curtain call. Wisconsin Music Teachers Association of Greater Milwaukee. You have been a wonderful audience. I can't tell you how much fun we've had today. I know it's a thrill to play on this stage, and I would like to thank my two co-chairs, Connie Gardner and Kathy Baumgart, uh, who did a lot. In fact, everyone that you see on this stage worked very hard for a long time putting this together. Um, I did my thank yous at the beginning, uh, but I would like to thank all of the parents and all of the students who worked very, very hard, for, because without you, this would not happen. I want to say another thank you to the teachers. You've been a wonderful audience. Thank you, Gordon. Thank you. Now, if you would like to have your picture taken with your favorite performer at one of these pianos, uh, do we have stairways here now on the sides? Is that possible to get up on the stage here? Are they right here? Over the side here, I believe. Well, find your way, and if you'd like to come up and pose for some pictures, I think Mark's going to hang around for a while, and the teachers, will you stay for a little, for a moment? If you want to have your picture taken on Eli Hall stage, come right up. Uh, but I think the parents are going to go and find the students first. So the students will stay here, your parents will come and find you, and if you're going to have a, a, a picture on stage, I don't know how many people are going to be here, but uh, you may certainly now bring out the cameras. Thank you.